friends, Heidi here from Rain Country Homestead. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can make your own organic fudge sickles. So, these ones are only going to be mostly organic today because I ran out of my organic valley milk and I ran out of my organic valley half and half. But what I do have is organic valley whipping cream and my food storage milk. So this isn't the healthiest milk, but it's it's a good milk. Um, it's it is highly processed, um, you know, ultra pasteurized because it has to be for food storage. But it is an excellent product to keep on hand for times like these when you run out of milk, and so um, has a very long uh, shelf life. So I'm going to be using these two for my milk, and I have organic rock cow. And I will link to this because I get mine on Amazon. I'm going to use um, organic cane, or excuse me, organic coconut sugar. I also get this on Amazon. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a banana because Mr. Rain really likes the chocolate banana flavor. Sometimes I make it just chocolate, but most of the time I throw in a banana because it also because he likes the flavor, but it also gives it an even richer, um, more creamy texture. Um, coconut is another great addition if you like coconut and very healthy for you. So what I have going on here, as you can see it's dirty, that's because I just got done making the video of how to make um, your own organic powdered sugar. So I figure it'd be good to do these back to back since I don't have to worry since I'm going to be adding you know sugar in there anyway. So what I do first, and I don't go by measurements, I go by looks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up to about where I know I like to have my milk, and then I'll see where that ends up being. I think it's, where is the measuring cup side? It's over here. I can't see it because all the powdered sugar. So let me pour in some of the milk. A lot of times I'll add to this as I go. This is also unopened. Let me shake this up a little bit. You know, for using milk and, and whipping cream, about a cup of each is what I'm starting with, or two cups of half and half. And Organic Valley is a really good brand if you don't have cows or goats or you don't have a way that you can get local raw milk. Like sometimes I can get some local raw goat's milk um, and I barter for it, but it doesn't always work out. Uh, so I haven't actually had any in quite a while. But thankfully our local, our little store, or our local store in our little town carries the Organic Valley and I'm so grateful. That's what voting with your dollars does. All right, so I'm gonna break up the banana and throw it in there again. This is an optional. You don't have to add your banana. And then I'm gonna do about a lid here, like this, a wide mouth lid, that's about a half cup. So I'm going to start with about a half cup, and so that's what I'm going to recommend you start with. And obviously this is going to be, I don't know what this is. I'm using coconut sugar, so you, when you're using coconut sugar and you're making this type of thing, you're going to want to add a little bit more sugar. So I might need a, about a half cup, which I think that's what that should be. I'm going to go ahead and blend this and then I'm going to taste it. You also want a, a spatula on hand. Especially since I just made powdered sugar in this, so I got powdered sugar all along the sides. I'll push that down in there. But your, your cacao is going to have a tendency to want to stick to the sides, so you'll want to scrape that around. And if you haven't seen the other uh, creamsicle video I made several months ago, go ahead and look right up here and you'll find that one. And that one I made with what's called a flavor grenade. And it is a type of pluot, which is a plum apricot and it's excellent, excellent flavor. But you can use any fruit. I use canned, home canned peaches and um, you know raspberries from the garden, oh, one of our one of Mr. Rain's favorites, and blueberry isn't his favorite flavor, um, but I'll use the a pint of blueberries that I picked from our bushes, and then add some lemon, uh, organic lemon, the lemon and the peel, um, about mm, several slices, and oh man, it makes a really good 
creamsicle. So I'm going to mix this some more. And I forgot I was going to add some organic homemade vanilla extract. Just for a little extra flavor. Let me mix that up. And this is where you can test for, um, take a taste and see if you want more cocoa in it or cacao if you're wanting a good raw cocoa and or if you That's need more good. sugar. I'm going to add just a touch more sugar and a little bit more cacao, just a little. It doesn't need very much more. Um, he does like a good sort of chocolate flavor, but I don't need to add any more of that. And I think I'll add just a little bit more vanilla extract. I'm gonna mix that some more and go wash off my spoon. Okay, we're gonna test it again. Okay, that should be pretty good. I think Mr. Rain's gonna like that. All right, so now um, you can find these in the link below. I also got these on Amazon, though since I bought these, our local store actually carries these now. So if you live in my area and you're watching this video, look at our local store. You know which one it is. It's the only store in town. <laughs> and uh, fill these up. These are a really a great simple uh, popsicle holder. And I'll show you. It has these little sleeves like this you drop them into the holder you fill this up and i'm going to have extra which is good because i have two sets of these and i might have enough to fill up one more and then you put you snap your little uh get this out of the way so you can see snap these little things into place whoops that one's a little bit full you can tell when it starts gushing out the sides I'd rather see it gush out a little bit because then I know I've got plenty in there. If you don't get enough in there, it's it might not hold it really well. And I'll just clean that off and stick it in the All freezer. All right, let's see if I have enough to fill up one more. Oh, it's going to probably be just a little bit short. And if it's not going to go up all the way, it's kind of a waste of time. However... You could also freeze this like this and then just eat out of it with a spoon. That works. <laughs> so I think I'll just go ahead and do that. Anyway, and those take probably a good full day to set up when they're that tight. So, and that goes with the fruit ones too. Um, I think if you were just using fruit juice and not the milk, it would probably freeze up harder, but you really want it give it a good 24 hours because otherwise the handle will pull right out of the popsicle and then you do have to eat it with a spoon and that's how I know it works really good to eat it with like a, a teaspoon like this kind you know the long handled teaspoon so ice teaspoon is what it's called all right so there you have it how to make your own homemade fudge sickles and with whatever other additions you want to add and uh, oh and if you haven't seen the powdered sugar video uh, Go ahead and look up here and you'll find out how to make your own organic powdered sugar. All right, thanks for watching. Take care.